I mean, I know I'm speaking to two United fans, so it's a little biased here, but no, I'm gonna agree with you guys as well. Are you guys still there? Oh my God. I'm here. Oh my God, I thought it stopped. Okay, I'm gonna start again, sorry. <laughs> Tottenham are sitting pretty at the top of the league and somehow managed to keep hold of Harry Kane. Are they now realistic contenders for the league title? Uh, absolutely not. Tottenham are, are not real contenders in my opinion. I think they're, I think they're a few steps down um, and look for them to finish around maybe third, fourth, fifth, as, as per usual. Yeah, for me, I think that Tottenham, they're not at the same level as Man U, Man City, Liverpool, Chelsea, and it's early, it's a long season, and so far we do see a lack of goal scoring from them, so we'll see how that works out, um, you know, for the rest of the season, but defensively they're doing well. Yeah, I completely agree with both of you. I think we spoke about this a couple weeks back, just the... Uh... The consistency, I don't think it's going to last because of the, the team itself. It doesn't seem like they're completely mended, they're molded together. I don't trust it. <laughs> okay, so who had the best transfer window? Chelsea, Man United, or Man City? For me, the best transfer window, I have to be a homer and say Manchester United. Um, we obviously get Ronaldo back. Uh, he's one of the greatest players of all time, still high class player. I know he's older, but we also get Sancho years of speculation. Is that going to happen or not? He comes through and also we bolster the defense with Varane. So I have to go with United on this one. Um, okay, so speaking to two United fans, I know we're a little biased, but I'm going to have to agree with you because I think you're right in the sense of they got a player in kind of each, you know, midfield, defense, forward. And I think Lukaku uh, going to Chelsea was huge, but overall United snagged way more players. Hey, you're, you're speaking to two United fans, Sarah. Like, <laughs> nothing but agreeance here. I think whenever you, ever you can land a player of Cristiano Ronaldo's caliber, and let alone Rafael Varane as well and Jaden Sancho. Those are three superstars at three very important positions in the game. And it's tough to argue against that. I will put Chelsea up there as a close second, however, but Man City spending a boatload of money for Jack Grealish. I don't know if that'll pay the same dividends as, as some of these other moves. So I, I'm with you guys there with a smile on my face too. Yeah, so is the United fan again. <laughs> Ronaldo scored more than Lukaku in the last Series A last season. Can he do the same in the EPL? Uh, you know, this is going to be really tough because I think Lukaku uh, has a little bit more coming from behind him in the midfield with Chelsea. Of course, we know Ronaldo's caliber and what he's able to accomplish and what he has accomplished in the City of, but I think Lukaku might have a bit of a step up, not even because of the, you know, Ronaldo's a bit older, he has a bit of age on him, but I think Chelsea's midfield are nasty. And I think they're gonna be pushing through and creating a lot more chances with, you know, they have players like Conte, Mason Mount, Jorginho, like that midfield is insane. So primarily because of that, I think Lukaku might be able to do it. Overrated. Overrated. <laughs> that midfield is, is a little bit overrated, uh, in my opinion. But that being said, Lukaku has one job, and that's to score goals. And he, he can be paid based on you know his, his ability to score goals. And I think Ronaldo might be asked to do a little bit more for Manchester United than just put the ball in the back of the net. So for that reason, I, I actually agree with you, Sarah. I think Lukaku will, uh, will surprise a few people, perhaps, and, and beat Ronaldo out of the, the golden boot race. Yeah, and I have to be the third one to say <laughs> um, I think that obviously you're looking at Man U and you would say, yeah, Ronaldo could do it and, you know, outscore Lukaku, but there's also other options there. Greenwood, Rashford, Cavani when he gets back, uh, all these guys are there, Sancho. So I don't think that the goal scoring opportunities and chances will be as much for Ronaldo at United as they'll be for Lukaku in Chelsea. I think a lot more reliance will be on uh, Lukaku to get those goals and we'll see a lot more opportunities for him to get it done with uh, Chelsea.